Cyborg Earth Samurai. That sounds like a... Wait a minute, I feel like I used this intro before. Ah yes, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. When the game was announced, it made some of them think, this is an April Fool's joke, right? But the fact of the matter was, it wasn't. And when the game was launched and everyone was playing it, I heard nothing but negative things about this game. And so, it was quickly forgotten. And then, the meme happened. After the meme explosion happened, everyone started buying the game, everyone started playing the game. And now, I heard nothing but positive things about this game. So what is going on? Why do people love this game now, but not back then? Well, there's only one way to figure out, isn't it? I myself bought the game, and now, let's figure out about Metal Gear Rising Ray Vengeance. So, how do I explain what this game is? Good question! Hmm. I think the best way to say it is 3D beat em up, like Kingdom Hearts, but more edgy and cool. It's very hard to explain, but the gist of it is you're at point A, go to point B. You have to kill your foes in certain points of the map, basically in obstacles. You can also sneak kills when you have the chance, or go full stealth is optional mode. Ah! I don't have any prop guns, okay? You know how expensive those things are? Ah! Reach point B, well, there will be boss fight, win, repeat. Yes, it does sound repetitive, but credit where credit is due, though, the gameplay is actually fun. I think it's safe to say that we all love to slash and chop our enemies with sharp katanas. <clears throat> In game. But it also helps that we can also do cool parkour moves, a lot of combos and secondary weapons you can experiment with, and the finishes. <laughs> Yes, it is always the same animations. Yes, I love every time they do that too. It also feels like the game isn't forced on how you want to play or how you want to slash your foes. But it's still a challenge. With your finisher, you basically regain all your health and special meter back to full. So you are driven to always try to go for the finisher as much as possible to get your meter full again. Which, again, I'm fine with that because it never gets old for me. With that said, you will need the meters to be full. Because again, this game is actually quite a challenge. You can actually get down really quickly. And with little health packs along the way, Finisher is your main go-to healing most of the time. So you actually need to know how to slash your opponents, when to attack, when to counter, when to basically do everything to be the best samurai out there. If they teach you how to do that in the first place! This is a big problem when it comes to this game. For example, each mission you can buy new costumes, new weapons, new combos and everything. And buying new combos means getting new combos, new ways to attack people, new ways to do AOEs, etc, etc. The problem is, they never teach you how to properly do those combos. So you have to always guess how to do those combos. And I'll be honest, I never learned any of those combos. I just wish for the best. And don't even get me started with the controls. Yes, they had a tutorial on how to attack and such. But again, not properly explained. For example, there's focus mode, where you can slash your opponent however you want. This is useful if you want to chop off special military's hand for... 
collections. If I'm not in jail after this video, I'll be surprised. The point is, you have full control with your sword. The problem is, later you need to learn how to do more complex slash. And instead of holding right stick and moving with your left stick just to position it right, while well, making sure you don't let go of your right stick and left stick so that you do not slash with your left stick, despite it also camera movement, you can simply do this. Again, they teach you how to use the right stick, but they never teach you how to release the right stick. And this becomes crucial later on in the game. This is frustrating. And the biggest gripe I have with this game, pairing. Pairing in this game is very crucial because you can't just slash and attack all the time and not get attacked the opponents are sometimes going to ignore your slashing and just attack anyways. You need to learn when to stop attacking, when to go far, when to go close to the target and when to parry. So okay, parry is important, I get it. How does one parry? You press attack and forward to parry. This causes problems. I get what the devs were trying to do. Making it feel like we were actually blocking with our katana and immersion. But that immersion also breaks so quickly when you want to block an attack and accidentally, oh, I don't know, move forward and attack instead. This has happened so many times and I died so many times because the game could not register, I was attempting to block instead of attacking. And what I don't understand is, there's so many unused buttons, they could have simply used one button for shielding and parrying. It would have made it so much easier. It would not break the immersion at all. If anything, it would have helped. Yes. It would be satisfying to do attack forward and you finally able to parry and everything. But when the frustration and rage outweighs the satisfaction, that is a flaw. Oh, by the way, the game doesn't teach you how to parry properly as well. To parry multiple times at once, you need to attack and forward and then make sure you use other movement with attack to continue pairing. So attack forward, then attack back, then attack side, then attack diagonal, etc, etc. And guess what? When it is important to learn that? You guessed it later in the game. If you want to understand how annoying the tutorial actually is, go to IKEA, find a random table, buy it, and try to build that table with half of the manual page. Randomized. Good luck. So the point is, the controls suck. One of the basic things in this game needs to get good at sucks. So game over. This game sucks, right? Well, despite that, I still had my fun. Thankfully, the controls aren't fully broken just half. So running, sneaking, slashing combos, sneak kills is still so satisfying to do. And the extra bits like running while the buildings are collapsing, the finishes and yes, the quick time events are fun and satisfying to execute. So don't get me wrong, the gameplay is fun, really fun. It just could have been much better. And I'm starting to think this game was rust, like really quickly. And to solidify my theory, the story was pretty rust as well. The story is pretty much divided into chapters. One chapter you are in Africa, then America, and then so on and so forth. Which is fine, it just means we are going to various countries and that is amazing. 
the problem is how you present the story. I can't really explain in details of what this is, mainly because then I would be going into spoiler territory and I don't usually like to spoil in these kind of videos. So to keep it more thought, simple, I guess you could say, let's just say that there is a chapter from what, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, but you feel like in between that you missed a chapter or two and be like, hey, what's going on? Why are we here? What is happening? But you're not missing that chapter. And then they introduce new characters out of nowhere, be like, hey, I know this character and I know you and you know me. But they never go into detail as to why. But if there's one thing that helps the story, it's the memes. The story is so ridiculous at times, it's actually good in a way. Especially the last chapter. It just feels like the devs just lost it and just amped the funny to laugh and, and I love that because it made the story from bland and rust to actually funny and well meme worthy. Don't get me wrong, the game has some dark and serious moments as well. But Sometimes they take serious and eziness so much, it just flips over and makes it funny. So from what we learned, this game has so many flaws. And yet, there's so many good things about this game. But there has to be something that's really really good or really really bad in this game, right? Well, I'm happy to announce there is something that is really good in this game. and. It's something related to me. Having an 8th grader syndrome edgy backlog? What, what? No! Music! Oh, the music is phenomenal. I mean, hearing those guitars or drums just bumps you up to slash more and more. And when it gets to the boss fight, oh, it's so fun! So, usually in boss fight, there's like 2, 3, 4 phases, which is fine. But what they did with the music is so amazing. You start off with some basic instrument and drums and everything. But the more you drain, the more you slash their health away, the more the music builds up and builds up and builds up. And when you reach the last phase of the boss, oh! The music just hits right and you just want to buy and finish the job and I think the music sums up my experience for this game. This game, should be told, isn't that great. It's honestly decent at best. The frustration with controls, the lack of tutorials, the story that is rushed and many more has brought this game down and down. But the adjuring of the music, the meme it gave us, the laughter, the missions, the puzzles we need to connect. I understand why this game is both bad and good. Because rationally, this game isn't great. But the vibe it gave us, it's so worth it. Let's be honest here, this game sucks, it really does. But at the same time, it's so good as well. It's it's not even it's so bad it's good, it's both bad and good. And I love hate this game. This is such a weird experience for me, it's such a bizarre experience. I recommend playing this game because this is the first time in my gaming life that I both love and hate, dislike and like, and the game sucks and doesn't. It's a very bizarre experience and please let me know in the comments below if I'm the only one or you agree with me here. And make sure to like and subscribe as well. 
Oh, now I remember the intro was actually from the Warframe video. Click over here to check it out. Or if you want to check the latest video, click over here. Either way, I have been Weirdo Maxim. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!